Hello, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. I'm here to talk to you about Celestron's Power Seeker EQ 127 Reflector Telescope. This is the first telescope I bought, and I'll just go ahead right away up front and admit, when I bought this telescope, I didn't do enough research. I did look at some reviews online and read some of those, and also read the marketing and specification the details about the telescope but I was new to the hobby I didn't really have that much background knowledge and I should have got better educated so after owning the telescope there are a number of things I learned that caused me to come to the conclusion I made a mistake I shouldn't have bought this telescope I should have done more research I'm going to share 10 of those reasons with you and I created a series of brief videos sharing each of those reasons if you enjoy this video, you might want to look at some of the other reasons that I share about why you should reconsider purchasing this telescope. So let's get started. So what I'm showing you here is the primary mirror. Uh, what I want to uh, draw your attention to. So I added this spot in the center and I had to remove the mirror to do that because to do the collimation, one of the steps in the collimation is when, you're, when your collimator's in, you're trying to line up this dot with the center spot. You have to line that up. And if you don't get that centered, then you're not going to be in alignment. A big gripe I have with this telescope is it comes with no center spot on the mirror. So this means you have no way to align the center of the mirror. You can't guess in this big of a mirror where's the center. It ought to have a center spot on it from the factory. There should be no need to take this apart and put that center spot on. So I just removed the primary mirror to show that to you from the back of the telescope tube. I actually used tape to identify where is the dead center of the primary mirror and I created my own spot with a center hole so that I could actually do the collimation. You can see why I feel like this is a big deal that this actually came without the spot in the center and I had to add myself a way to be able to do the collimation properly. It seems to me like if it's truly a Newtonian or reflector telescope, it should come with a spot on the primary mirror and I shouldn't have to disassemble it to do something like that. Well, I hope you found hearing my experience with this telescope helpful. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I created a series of these videos just to keep them brief. You could look at the ones that you were interested in where I talk about the different reasons that I really wouldn't recommend this telescope you might want to check out some of the others and they're in the description of this video. If you enjoy videos of this type dealing with astronomy and astrophotography, I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel, leave any comments you have after you watch the video. I always enjoy hearing the viewers feedback and I'm wishing you clear skies.